My three-year-old grandson and I were watching a kiddie show on a YouTube channel when suddenly elephants pop out from the horizon. So I told him, those are elephants in the desert. Nope, he said, that is the savanna. And that word sent my brain into a tizzy because I was wondering what savanna was all about and how it is written. Hi, welcome to this channel where solutions to the downside effects of a stroke are being uploaded, hoping that when you see them, you will get inspired and motivated to start your own recovery program. Or if you already have started it, I hope that uh, these videos will give you ideas on how you can make your recovery go much faster so that you will have your uh, independence and be back to normal living. This is Efren Piawag and I am a 64-year-old ischemic stroke survivor. When I started my rehab, my own personal rehabilitation, um, there was that part of my brain that was telling me that you have done this before and you can do it now, but you cannot do it. Which means that, uh, yeah, I, I, I know how to do that thing, but my hands, uh, fingers cannot do exactly what I was planning to do. So I have to start from ground zero up uh, until uh, it uh, kind of level up to its normal function now. So that means to say that uh, I have a lot of uh, things to do for my brain to recover. And uh, one of them was... Uh, to spell words. Uh, this is one way wherein the brain can have a virtual exercise uh, because uh, we cannot touch the words that is in the, in the mind. Uh, we can only imagine how the letters are, how they are arranged, and that is how the brain uh, will improve. In medical science, uh, they call this one here neuroplasticity. By the way, uh, in, when we are doing this spelling drill here, there are two more parts of the body that are being exercised and I would like you to pay attention to them too because they are part of the spelling process. The first one is when we pronounce the words the lips, the tongue, and the jaw are being moved because they are forming the words uh, through their uh, own way. And the second one is when the words are pronounced before they are spelled. Y you know that the ear is uh, involved here. So it means to say that if we have a good hearing, we will be able to spell the word correctly. So those are the two exercises that are part and parcel of this kind of exercise. Since we are beginners, uh, this is how, how we shall do the uh, spelling drill. I will show the word, you pronounce it as I pronounce it, then the word will disappear, then you spell it, and then we will pronounce it again. I will show the word and then we will go to the next word. So let us not mind the meaning of the word, let us just spell it. So the first word we have is the word go. So there it disappears. The spelling is G O. Go. There. All right. So. We are starting with two letter words and we will progress to three letter words, four, five, and two more complex words. The next second word is uh, two. You spell it T 
T-O, pronounce it as two there. The next word we have is uh, B. Okay, so you spell it B E B. For the next one is a uh, three-letter word. It is uh, pronounced as vet. It's short for veterinarian. So vet, spell it V E T. Next one is who. W H O who. Then we have she S H E she there. Next word perhaps is uh, the it's now five letters, so we have the word words. There you spell it W O R D S words words and the next one is the, our favorite word which is aphasia okay this will take a longer time to memorize aphasia is a p h a s i a so that is aphasia okay I assume or presume that you will be practicing this one here so after their months of uh, going over two, three, four, five letter words, you are now ready to uh, go for longer words. So uh, I have prepared here our uh, favorite words, just like this one here, which is uh, vascular. Okay, vascular. Can you recall it? So it is V A S C U L A R. Vascular. There you go. The next word could be uh, hmm. I met this in the hospital. It's called uh, lacunar. All right. So lacunar spelled as L. A C U N A R. That is the word lacunar. And here is another uh, favorite word for us to remember, maybe because this involves uh, our brain. I thought I mispronounced this before or they wrote it wrongly because it is this word. The word is infarct. Infarct. So, how do we spell infarct? I N F A R C T. My first uh, perception on that one was I thought it was infarct, like an infraction, but it was spelled as infarct. So, here we go again infarct. I N F A R C T. Then we have next is uh, this one really is a uh, tongue bummer I would say or next to the last one I say yes the word uh, this is something longer it is called uh, rehabilitation how do you spell rehabilitation okay let's look at it and spell it as it is being seen so R E H A B a L I T I O N rehabilitation. Did we get it correctly? Oh rehabili. Oh I think we did not get it in the B. Rehabilitate. So repeat. R A H A B I L I T I O N for rehabilitation. And the last one perhaps is really our favorite word <laughs> that we should make it our favorite word because uh, it's the one that is uh, doing something in our brain and this is called uh, neuroplasticity. So long. Anyway, 
Let's look at it and spell it as it is. Neuroplasticity, N-E-U-R-O-P-L-A-S-T-I-C-I-T-Y. You can go over this over and over again so you'll get familiar with the word neuroplasticity. So the more we spell words correctly and the more we pronounce them correctly too, people around us will be able to understand us and uh, the stress of being misunderstood will be lessened on our part. We will uh, be able to communicate and participate in uh, whatever is happening around us. That's why it is a must that we have to master words that we know before. They are familiar. They are all there. They are all in the magazines and all we have to do is look at them and absorb them again into our uh, mental uh, state and uh, they will become part of our uh, communication skills. So don't give up if at first you cannot spell a two-letter word or a five-letter word. It's just a matter of practice. Exposure is the key to that one. Keep on reading, keep on spelling aloud if you can. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next video then.